Diggs, international best-selling author, as seen in Entrepreneur and in Inc. Magazine. Today I'm here uh, in a far northwestern neighborhood in Philly. It's called uh, Chestnut Hill. Uh, like this area, kind of, kind of has a, in a way of kind of a colonial Victorian kind of feel to it. Uh, many of the buildings are like that. They're kind of Victorian style. So. Uh, definitely enjoy that ambience that it kind of gives a, a area but um, you know many people ask me you know and of course I'm always very appreciative to be able to impart wisdom but one one thing asked me is man like what happens when like day after day week after week month after month it's just it's like Murphy's Law. It's just nothing is going in their favor. And there's a lot of things you can do, but the short answer to it is, unfortunately, that's life. You know, uh, it's never easy. You know, my house got my house got caught in the fire. Uh, I lost a lot of money. The TSA. Uh, unfortunately, that's a whole other a story. I'm going, still going through uh, challenges with them. Unfortunately, you're going to have adversity, but it's how you react to it. You know, that's basically how you can definitely mitigate your stress levels and continue to reach your finish line. You know, you can react negatively, you can react positively. And your uh, repetitive reactions is what's going to determine the course of your life. It's going to change your perception on things. If you always react negatively on things, it's going to strengthen your negative outlook on life. If you always react positively to things, it's going to reinforce or, 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 or shift you so you can have a, a more positive outlook on life. Those are things to keep in mind. But I'm human just like you. I've had success, but I have failures too. And, you know, I think people think that, you know, once you have more success, like you become immune to these problems or you become invincible. And it's like this perfect utopia, happily ever after life. And I wish that was true, but it's not. Uh, I'm fragile, I'm flawed, just like you or anyone else. But in order for us to reach our finish line, is being able to make the most of these situations. I don't like what happened to me. You know, uh, I don't like having health problems. Um, you know, that, that's complicated too and scary at times. But the best I can do is make smarter decisions and make the most of my current situation. So keep that in mind as you reach your, as you reach your finish line because that's what I want for you. Check me out at reachingthefinishline.com. Until next time, I hope you're reaching your finish line.